Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. The US has determined that Saudi Arabia's de facto leader, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, has immunity from a lawsuit filed by murdered journalist Jamal Khashoggi's fiancé. Mr Khashoggi, a prominent Saudi critic, was murdered at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October 2018. U.S. intelligence has said it believes Prince Mohammed, seen here arriving in Bangkok for the APEC summit, ordered the killing. But in court findings, the U.S. State Department said he has immunity due to his new role as Saudi Prime Minister. Mr Khashoggi's ex-fiancé, Hatis Sengiz, wrote on Twitter that Jamal died again today with the ruling. Schools and public bridges have been transformed into polling stations as Malaysia has made final preparations ahead of its general election on Saturday. Around 21 million Malaysians are eligible to vote in the election, with inflation and recent political instability on the top of their minds in the backdrop of a slowing economy. Malaysia has had three premieres since the last election in 2018. It is set to be a highly competitive race between three major coalitions, led by incumbent Ismail Sabri Yaakob, long-time opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim, and the former premier. Convoys of military and unmarked vehicles have arrived in the Polish village, where a missile strike killed two people earlier this week. The convoys were waved through by police officers as investigations into what caused the strike continue. Warsaw and its Western allies say evidence from the scene points to the explosion being caused by a Ukrainian air defense missile that went astray in pursuit of a Russian missile. In a sudden new turn, it's been announced that alcohol will not be sold at the World Cup's stadiums in Qatar after FIFA changed its policy two days before the tournament starts. Alcohol was set to be served in select areas within stadiums, but FIFA say it will now only be served in corporate areas. On Twitter, Budweiser's official account reacted by saying, well, this is awkward before the tweet was deleted. It had had exclusive rights to sell beer at the tournament. The World Cup starts on Sunday when Qatar play Ecuador. Spanish police say they have seized over 50 tons of marijuana, the largest amount of the drug ever seized in the country. Eight farms have been dismantled in the northeastern region of Catalonia and 20 people detained on suspected electricity fraud and offences against public health. In total, agents seized 52 tonnes of marijuana with more than 187,000 plants between June and October. India has launched its first privately developed rocket, the Vikram S, a milestone in the country's efforts to create a commercial space industry and to compete on cost. One, zero. Video footage showed the rocket taking off from the space center. Officials said it splashed down in the Bay of Bengal about five minutes after launch. The Indian government has been pushing to develop a private space industry to complement its state-run space program. And a 10-year-old Ghanaian climate activist has received a standing ovation at COP27. There is less than 86 months to go before we hit 1.5. And I'm already much older than that. So dear people at this COP, I appeal to you, have a heart and do the math. It is an emergency. Nakiat Dramani Sam appealed to delegates in Sharm El Sheikh to have a heart. She gave her emotive speech on behalf of young people who see the impacts of climate change every day in the form of air pollution, flooding, droughts, and in fear over their futures. All I mean is, duty bearers, kindly take up your game. Thank you very much for your attention. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.